Hello everybody, today I'd like to share with you one of my number one creations. This is my homemade 50 watt mercury vapor floodlight. Now I made this thing out of various parts that I've had lying around and some parts I did purchase. One of the things that I had to buy was the flange to hold the floodlight right here and the box itself to hold the components. Everything else I already had. Anyway, I'd like to share a little bit about where the inspiration for the design of this fixture came from. In some foreign countries, other than the United States, floodlights use a like R40 or BR40 mercury vapor flood bulbs, and they're in fixtures similar to this. You have a ballast housing, and then a floodlight fixture with the R40 or whatever it may be, R30, mercury vapor or high pressure sodium floodlight bulb. And I always thought that those floodlights looked so cool using such a special bulb, and it's so simple. You just have a socket for the flood bulb and a housing for the ballast, just so unique. There, we don't have anything like that here in the US other than the incandescent fixtures. But I used that idea to make this and I absolutely love it. So let's take a little look around. Here we have a old floodlight fixture which was actually for an incandescent. It is called the Magni Flood or Magna Flood. It has that printed on oh, that one side there, made in the USA. Very cool. Inside, it is currently housing this 50 watt mercury vapor bulb made by the Chinese Westinghouse. You can see inside there, such a tiny arc tube. Very cool. So, inside, it had a old socket, but I've since replaced it with a nice new one. I do not have a flood bulb version of the 50 watt mercury vapor bulb, however they are out there and I could purchase one if I wanted to. But this regular shaped one works absolutely fine since this fixture has the built in flood shape with it. So fantastic. Of course you can aim it at any direction and just tighten the bolt here, of course with a wrench obviously, so that it will stay at whatever angle you'd like. Here on the back we have the wire which goes to the socket within the floodlight itself. It does not go through the uh, arm of the fixture, it comes directly out the back. So we have that wire coming down here and it feeds into the bottom of the ballast housing right here also where the power cord comes in, same spot. I am all about easy mounting, so I made these aluminum uh, bars here to bolt on to the back of the ballast compartment, so it can easily be hung outside or wherever you'd like to use the fixture. Simply hook it onto a hook or screw it to a wall, and you're good to go. Now I chose this type of box because it's rainproof, rain drips right over it, it's very nice for that. and it's easily accessible to access the components inside. So, let me go ahead and take off this cord here. I'm gonna set it down like that. Let me um, take the camera off the tripod here so I can show you a little bit of what it looks like when it's um, stood up. Very cool. Of course it would be hung on a wall and you can point it back at the wall if you'd like, or you can, you know, point it up if you want to just let it sit on the ground to make sure water doesn't get in it, of course. But there's plenty of angles that this fixture can be used at. Very nice design. So, let me go ahead and put the camera back on the tripod here. We'll go ahead and take a look inside. Of course, you can also, you know, turn the fixture you know, this way and that way, but I currently have this uh, locked down so I can't do that. So all you have to do to get to the inside is unscrew this single screw. Again, easy access. Comes right out. And we slide it right off. Again, we can see the flange. 
that the floodlight is attached to and it's simply bolted on here. Everything is stainless steel or brass so there's no need for rust. You can see a little bit of rust here, but that's from the previous installation of this. So everything is made for being waterproof and rust proof. So let's set the uh, floodlight assembly aside there. Inside we can find the simple 50 watt mercury vapor ballast. It's an advance ballast. The sticker is on the opposite side. And it's bolted directly in the center. Very nice, so it gets plenty of air. And it's very, very simple. There's no capacitor in here. And we have it wired up to the floodlight and the power in. Very, very simple. So, let me go ahead and put this back on. Of course, it slips right up under there. And notice how the flange is also underneath the lip of the housing here. So if it rains, it drips over the flange. If the flange was any lower, you'd be getting in that way. So it's nice to do that. Now this little hole here, there's a key inside that would flip out and you could put a lock on it. But I don't need that. So we'll just leave it in. Put the screw back on. Very nice. So there's a quick look around at the uh, fixtures insides and outside. Very nice. I absolutely love the way that this came out and I love the fact that it's 50 watt mercury vapor makes it even better. So of course we're going to turn it on and here we go. Three, two, one. Makes a little bit of noise when it's turning on, but it does absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and let this warm up. Okay, so we're pretty much at full brightness here, and you can actually see the arc inside of the arc tube. Let's see if I can get you a nice view of that. There, you can kind of see it in there. Very cool. Anyway, this thing doesn't get very bright, and that's to be expected. It's 50 watts mercury vapor. And it's very, very cool to me. I've always wanted a low, low wattage mercury vapor fixture, but I've never been able to find one. I was able to find, you know, ballasts and bulbs and things like that, but I've never been able to find an actual fixture. So when I set out to do that, I wanted to make the best and coolest possible 50 watt mercury vapor fixture there is. And as you can see here, it is finally finishing up its full brightness and now it's pretty much at full brightness. I know I just said that a little bit ago but it had a little bit of a way to go and I wanted to show you the arc tube before it got too bright to pretty much see. Anyway this fixture I think is just awesome. I know I've said that a million times here but I love this thing. It's so unique and cool. Anyway I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this awesome fixture. And also, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.